let's make a search engine, or at least the front end user interface for one. For this, we're going to make use of HTML's form tag. Let's get started. Notice here, in search0.html, I've already opened and closed some tags. And here inside of the body, let's go ahead and first just put a title of sorts on this page, say CS50 search, just like the actual title of the page. And now let's declare a form. And let me also close that tag now so I don't forget to later. Inside of here, let's declare an input type whose name will be, say, Q for query, and whose type will be text so that it ultimately renders as a text field. Below that, let's do a line break. And below that, let's do one other input, this one whose type will be quote unquote submit so that it renders as a submit button. And then let's give it a value or a label of again, CS50 search. Now we need some place for this form to be submitted to, since I, at least today, am not going to implement the backend, so to speak, for it. So why don't we use an existing backend like Google? They've done a lot of work on a search engine, so why don't we simply refer the user to Google and give them some Google search results? So to do this, I'm going to have to update that form tag to have two attributes. The first will be action. Action equals, quote unquote, HTTPS colon slash slash www.google.com slash search. Why that URL? Well, I simply happen to notice for quite some time now that that is the URL that appears in part in the address bar of my browser anytime I use Google myself. After that, though, let's declare method equals quote unquote get, specifying that the HTTP verb, so to speak, via which I want to submit this form is indeed get as opposed to something like post. Let's save this file, change our permissions, and open it in a browser. Chamad 8 plus R search 0.html. Let's open up Chrome and then visit http colon slash slash localhost slash search 0.html. There's that form. Let's go ahead and search for something like cats. The internet is filled with them after all. Click CS50 search. And voila, we see a page of search results filled with cats. And notice if I zoom in here, on the top of the address bar, notice that I indeed see that same URL that I provided as the value of the action attribute. But appended to that appears to be question mark Q equals cats. Now Q we saw before, that's the name of the parameter that I specified inside of that HTML form. And cats, of course, is what I typed. So it appears that what a browser does for you when you submit a form on a web page via the method get, it sends the request to that URL, but appends to it a question mark followed by an HTTP parameter or an input from our HTML form, then an equal sign, then the value that the user typed in. And if there is another such HTTP parameter that was provided by the user via some form, that would be separated from this first key value pair with an ampersand. There we have it, cats.